Does the noise in my head bother you? This is a memoir by Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler, of course, is a frontman for the band Aerosmith. And I gotta admit, I wasn't really surprised by anything that I read in this memoir. Uh, but then I, maybe that's because me being a musician myself, I've been around a lot of musicians and so, yeah, I mean, uh, I wasn't really, I didn't find anything shocking about it. I mean, in other words, I feel like Steven Tyler didn't really reveal anything that I haven't heard before or seen before. And, and again, that might be because, you know, I've been exposed to a lot just from being a musician myself. <laughs> or, or also, too, there's a possibility that maybe because, you know, he's from a different generation than I am. Uh, I mean, he's considerably much older than me. And, yeah, I, heard I mean, although I, I will say I liked the first half of this memoir because especially in the beginning he talks about his childhood and which I found interesting uh, because pretty much for most of his childhood he spent he spent outdoors um, just running around nature and uh, and then eventually he started getting into trouble as he got the older he got the more trouble he got himself into uh, but, you know, like the usual stuff, like preteen, teenage stuff, chasing girls and uh, experimenting with alcohol and uh, drugs and, uh, and uh, yeah, and then really, I mean, and then I also liked the part that uh, talks about, that deals with the beginnings of the band, Aerosmith. I was more interested in that than any other part of the book. Um, and then, of course, I also liked all the photographs that are included in there. And, you know, it was interesting. But, I, again, nothing really surprised me or shocked me. Uh, I will say that, I guess, if you happen to be a diehard fan of Aerosmith or of Steven Tyler, you'd probably like this memoir a lot more than I did. Um, or I don't know, maybe, you know, I just wasn't really in, wasn't really in a, uh, in a Steven Tyler kind of mood. Or <laughs> I, Another thing I liked is that uh, the way this is written, it, it makes it seem as though you're just like sitting down and listening to Steven Tyler tell you about his life and, um, but then also, too, there's a lot of parts where he seemed like he would kind of go off on these different tangents and uh, definitely made, made me realize, I mean, I wasn't even aware of before that the possibility that I think Steven Tyler might actually have a serious case of ADD or... <laughs> and, uh, and that's not to, to make light of you know, uh, people who do have ADD and by I me, mean, I guess for me, I was like, I, I wasn't aware of, I mean, if you read this, you'll know what I mean, because the way like he'll start off, you know, describing something perfectly. And then he starts talking about something else and then moves on to something else. And then next thing you know, he's talking about squirrels and then talking about how, the first time, you know, when, after he saw, the first time he saw a girl he liked and then, you know, he went off and got drunk or something and, you know, and then he just goes off on these tangents. And to me, it, you know, it seems like a, a sign of, you know, somebody who who does have some kind, at least some kind of ADD. It, it's, and, though, I mean, it, I was, it makes for interesting writing, I suppose, and, 
but yeah, I mean, overall, I, I give this this book, this memoir, uh, three out of five stars. Again, if you're a big fan of Aerosmith or Steven Tyler, you'll probably like it a lot more than me. Although, I don't know, maybe, who knows, maybe in, a, in another couple of months or a couple of years, maybe I'll try to pick it up again. To, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. That's, and that's not to say that I don't like Aerosmith, the band. I do. But I don't really like, I'm not a fan of their entire music catalog. Or I'm only really familiar with, like, maybe three, four, five of their songs at the most. So, uh, but I will, I will say that, you know, Steven Tyler is definitely an awesome singer. I'm not going to deny that. So, yeah, just, uh, I don't know if he, I don't know how good of a writer he should be thought of as, or, <laughs> or uh, I guess, I mean, clearly he's a better, uh, songwriter, lyricist than memoir writer and but hey that's just my opinion so that'll do it for this review thanks for watching once again i give it i give three out of five stars to is a noise in my head bother you by steven tyler yeah thanks for watching as always till next time keep it real keep on rocking and peace